In my previous video, I shown you how you can install Jitsi Meet on your server. But there was a problem. Anyone who knows the URL of your uh, Jitsi Meet application, he can come here and start a meeting right from the interface. You can see that I am creating a meeting and it doesn't require any kind of authentication. And it is a great problem because uh, if anyone can create meetings, then your server will become laggy or it will cost you a lot. Though we are hosting our application on Oracle Cloud from which we have got the free tier, which allows us to create VPS servers up to 24 GB of RAM and 4 vcpu course but still if anyone can create meeting and use it then it will soon become uh, very laggy so we have to add authentication to this application i will provide the link to my previous videos so that you can also get your free vps from oracle cloud free tier and you can install jitsi meet on your server and create conferences like zoom for free for life this is the video where I shown how you can get the Oracle Cloud free tier and set up your server. And in this video I shown how you can install Jitsi Meet on your Oracle Cloud free tier server. Now let's jump into our server. If you are wondering how to log into your server through SSH then you will get the full step by step process in my previous videos. Now let's first log in as super user. The code will be sudo su minus then on change our directory to docker jitsi mit and then nano dot env it will open the env file in the nano editor then scroll down and you will find the authentication settings So from here, just remove the hash, this one, enable guests, and also this one, auth type is equal internal. Then control O, enter control X. Now we will have to type docker. compose up minus t it will recreate all of our containers it will take some time now the next code will be this one i will provide the link to all of these codes in the description box make sure you check it out and now we will have to add users to our Jitsi Meet. For it, the code is this one. And we have to modify this code a little. Here we have to give it a username. I will keep it admin. And I will keep the password also admin. And then hit enter. Our user has been created successfully. Now let's go to our Jitsi Meet. I will end this meeting. Now refresh our application and then start new meeting. Join meeting. And here you can see that it says waiting for a moderator. The conference has not yet started because no moderators have been arrived. If you would like to become a moderator, please log in. So our authentication has been set up successfully. Let's log in to our Jitsi Meet. So here our user will be admin and our password is admin and then log in. It will perform the authentication and our meeting has been started successfully that means our authentication is successful so we have successfully added the authentication to our jitsi meet now not anyone will be able to create meetings so our server will stay secured
if you would like to hire us for your projects you can contact us through email provided in the description box if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get more amazing videos like this thanks for watching